heading into the community aid. So we'll get back at you. Hey guys, welcome back. I just went through the shoe. Well, first of all, I stopped in at the plush and got this guy. I'll give you more information when I get home. Then I found this Afghan, but I got myself one, looks like about eight to nine pairs of sneakers. So we'll go over them when I get home. So Dave, there's Dave right there, if you can see him. Right over there. He's probably looking at women's jeans. So, all right, let me see if I can zoom in on him. He is, there he is. See the top of his head? So, all right guys. I'll get back to you in a bit. Got a thistle steam cleaner, got some medical boots. And today is pink tag day, as you can see. So if so, these medical boots will be one dollar, and we can easily flip them for 25 to 30 bucks. So, oh, and this here table, I got leapfrog table. And I'll show you later on in the video. We'll flip that local. All right, guys, till next time. And I'm searching for Dave, and I do not see him. So, all right, talk to you too. Now. Say hi, Dave. Hi. So, we're pretty much gonna, we're gonna get out of here. That's all the jeans we got so far. Mm. So, all right. Jeans. When we get home, we'll show you some of the stuff that we got. We will. All right, talk to you later. Yes, it's, that's after discount. No, okay. no it's, it's you have to add, you've got to tell me. So you're looking for Oh, the senior discount. You have to tell me. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's what I passed that to you. I apologize. Old because, I'm old. Because I'm not allowed to ask you. Okay. Okay? Yes, this is the now discount for Senior Citizen Day. This is our Senior Citizen discount. She's going to punch it in right now. That's what we spent, and go. that's what we That is our grand total. Hey, good Flippin morning, Daddy. guys. It's Bill and Dave Daddy. from Noob and the Frog, and we're here with Flippin' Daddy. We're down here in New York, Community 8 for day two. We brought Dan along with us, so we're going to go in and see what we can find. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys, first stop, and we're out of here. We spent $87 and some change. I'll let you know later. Say hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. All right, we're going to talk to you later. We're you off stole my gig. I say hi, David. We're off well. to stop number two. <laughs> Another community aid. Welcome back. We are at stop number two, community aid in Mechanicsburg, PA. And there goes Dave and Dan. All right, let's go in and see what kind of treasures we can find here. Bye. Welcome back. Real quick, I want you to look at that right there. That might be coming our way. So we might be getting a little bit of rain. We'll see what happens. All right, talk to you later. I'm not sure you guys can see this, but this is what happened as soon as we walked in the building, the skies opened up. All right, guys, I'm not sure. This is a shoe we got. And then we go over here to the jeans. Caught in the jeans before we leave and Are just check out the damages and stuff before. <laughs> so, and then we're going to head to the checkout. All right, keep you posted. We just left this community aid and we spent $160. Mostly shoes and jeans. It's all shoes and jeans in this trip. So, we're hey guys, welcome back. It's Bill from Gnome and the Frog. Just want to do a video, let you guys see what we sourced in the last two days. But before I get into that, I uh, just want to let you guys know that we are on Facebook. We have a page. You can follow us at Gnome and the Frog on Facebook. Also, we are, are on Twitter and Instagram at Gnome underscore Frog. So before I go any further, I'll let you um, calculate what we spent. Both days were half days. Or I'm sorry, both days were half price. 
So the first day we got 60 items for $190.78. And then day two, we got 39 items for 160.11. And the other store, we got 27 items for 87.49. Our total was four hundred thirty-eight dollars and thirty-eight cents for one hundred twenty-six items, and our average cost for the two days of shopping is three dollars and forty-eight cents. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of, you know, what you can get looking for deals. So we got a lot of stuff. So I'm just basically going to show you some of the highlights of what we got. And we were at the Community 8 out here in Lancaster, New York, Pennsylvania. And Tuesdays, they do 50% off all us old folks over to 55. And then Wednesdays, all clothing. So um, they also run weekly specials. So this week, the pink tag was a special. So with that being said, we picked up all of these learning uh, Disney Baby Einstein VTEC. They were all three dollars, but I got them for a buck each, and we picked up four of them. So I will most likely they weren't getting much single, but when you lock them together, they were getting between twenty-five and thirty dollars. Um, another pink tag and a bolo on top are these medical boots with the air pump on them, or not either or it doesn't matter. But we had I got one of these at the bins. I might have paid a dollar for it and i flipped it for like 35 hours about eight months ago so there was three of them there the fourth one had tons and tons of dog hair so i put it back but as you can see i paid a dollar for this one and a dollar for that one and then there's a third one which can get us a higher price that one i paid half price i wound up paying 250 for it but if you average it out it was actually three dollars and 48 cents um Moving on, I went over to the electronics and I picked up this Bissell steamer. It doesn't have the pad on it. You can see it was, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but it was $9.99. Okay. Um, I did comp it. I did plug it in. It does work. And um, most likely going to sell this local on Facebook Marketplace for about 60 bucks. So then I went over to the toy section. And I picked up this here. Not sure if it's going to work because the batteries were low. But um, let's see if I can turn this on for you. And this was also uh, $9.99. So it was $5 my cost. And again, I'll flip this on Facebook Marketplace. And I should get somewhere. There you go. Let's see if I can get... All the different noises so i will sell this locally and i should get around 30 35 hours for it um as i talked about it before when we do go to the store and it's nice as a team dave went to jeans and i go over to plush first and then i head over to sneakers and shoes so with the plush this guy was sitting right on top mario i did pay he was three dollars, so I paid a buck fifty for him. But I have sold one before for about twenty-five bucks. Um, sorry for the rattle. I got this guy was sitting right on top too. He was from Land of the Lost. There's his name, Gund. I think you would say G U N D. And he was five bucks, so I did pay up for him. But I should get about $30, $35 for him. And there's his cush tag. He's in excellent, excellent shape. Um, then on the way over to shoes, I stopped in men's clothing. And I picked up a football jersey. Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, which isn't far from us. It's only about an hour and a half drive. And it is a... Reebok it is it's a national football jersey and as you can see I paid half of that so I paid um, three dollars for him 
and I looked him up. He's going for about 35. Um, then I was on the way out of shirts. I ran into this cool guy. Let me get this open for you. Fortnite jersey hoodie lightweight so it's under a pound it's under a pound so it'll go first class and i wound up paying 250 for him so i'll put him up for about 20 bucks i won't take nothing less so i'll, I'll price it like 25 and i won't take anything less than 20 i think it's worth it and then i picked up i'm not sure how this is going to do but i'm going to give it a try I always like the Hawaiian type of shirts, so this has a bunch of fish on it. Um, it's not really a popular name, but it was unique, and I paid two bucks for it. So if I get eighteen for it, I'll be happy plus shipping. So and uh, shouldn't have a problem selling it because it is a large. And then I got another plushie. I thought this he was cool just because. He's a unicorn and he's super bright. So I paid, I might've paid a little much, much for this. I paid a uh, dollar 50 for her, but if I can get 18 plus shipping, I'll be happy. So uh, walking over to sneakers, picked up another, another Afghan Chevron. I believe that's how you say it with the rippled stitch and this was five dollars, so I paid two fifty. It's very colorful. I'll give it a full measurement. Um, there might be one little issue that I'm just noticing. The stitch came out, but uh, I'll get that fixed before I sell it. So, and then over in the sneaker section, I got um, in two days. I picked up thirty nine pairs of sneakers. So I'll just give you a few of the highlights that I picked up. Um, I picked up these Hyper Dunks by Nike. And they are, and before I bought everything, I double checked them. These are a size eight and a half. So, and I went and double checked along the edges to make sure none of the, the material is pulled from the sole. I checked the soles and inside for any scratches and tears and stuff and I did that on every pair so um, another pair of Nikes I got these are dual fusion they are a women's pair and they are an eight and a half also um, another pair of women's here these are really good. These are uh, Ava, and I paid half of seven ninety nine. Uh, another pair of Nike Zoom, very very good condition, and again it's half of that. These these were a little priced up, but still I got them for half, and I can get like forty bucks for these, so it's well worth it. Another pair of Nikes. We got ourselves a pair of running shoes. And I'm trying to see the name on these and I'm not seeing it. I paid half of $8. A pair of Fila's. Again, we paid half of $8. And these are in really good shape. There's a little bit of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can... Either put that on a listing or fix it. I looked to make sure the soles, a little bit of um, awesome on there and let it sit. And uh, there's no tears inside. So, got a pair of them. These were cool. Some woman picked them up and put them back down. I'm like, oh, what are these? These look interesting. So I comped them. They are, I don't know if you guys can read it or not. Uh, they are footprints boots and i looked it up on ebay and these can actually go for about 50 bucks and i paid half a six so and then the last pair i'll show you 
with everything is this really cool pair of uh, Pumas. I looked them up. I got to do more investigating, but the one that I did find said that they were vintage. So I'm not sure about that. But these are men's and these are a size seven and a half. No, I'm sorry. That was a UK size. They're a US eight and a half. And the treads are really, really good. And I paid half of $8. All right, moving on. Give me a minute. I'll move this stuff. So, yeah, so we're uh, trying something new. We're doing sneakers, focusing on sneakers and jeans and going that route. Um, so Dave was over in jeans. And the first pair he picked up. If I'm saying this right, Kenzie. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And these are women's jeans. And they are a size 10. Um, what else did we get here? I did not see everything Dave got in jeans because that's his his little doing. A pair of Levi's, 512s. Women's um, size is kind of really, really faded, but they are a 10 short. And you're probably not going to be able to see that because it's really, really faded. So, next pair we got, we got a pair of Authentic Flare Gap. We do pretty good with Gap. They are bell bottomed, so that should be a plus for us. Bell bottoms are coming back a little bit. That's what I hear anyway. Um, pair of Lucky Brand. They are size six, 28 waist, and they are the zipper. So, and you can see inside, they got the Lucky patch. And then, I don't know if I can get this open for you and show you. But that's their signature inside the zipper, lucky you. And then we got a pair of... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Another pair of Levi's, super low, 518s. That's the patch. These are women's. And these are a size 7 long. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. And then he got himself a pair, another pair of Lucky Brand. Another 6'8. Okay. And these were a little high. They were 9, so they were 450. But again, average cost was only uh, 348. And there's the emblem on the back and the pockets. This is the stuff you look for when you buy these. And then inside it says "Lucky You" in the zipper. We always we've been checking zippers now because we did have a return for a broken zipper. So now we've been checking the zippers, and I take a picture of the zipper down in the down position. When I photograph. These were pretty cool. These are. If I don't botch the name. Denim and Rivet. They are women's size 7. And they are. I guess you would say stonewash. And they have the elastic waist. And these are. Size 7. These are pretty cool. With the design. And these are. They seem to be skinny leg. Or so, and then we got. Uh, I got two more pairs. I'll show you because I don't want to overextend my time here because we got a lot of stuff. Pair of American Eagle. This is what we like to go after. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see that or not, but they are size six. And there's the patch in the back and the pockets. 
And these are also flare bottom. And then I'll show you one more pair. Dave thought these were pretty cool. They're distressed. Black Daisy, they're called. Dave did all the comping, and I'm not sure what these will go for, but we've been trying to get our jeans no less than 20, and we're trying to average a 25 sale. So I'm sure these go for at least 25, and then you can see the distressed pockets in the back, the distressed legs, and then this pattern that's pretty cool on the one leg. The distressed look here and again the pattern so yep so that's about all we got um i broke it down i believe it was 39 pairs of sneakers and somewhere around 65 to 70 jeans and then the rest was in like odds and ends it might have been more towards 65 to 70 within the jeans and then we got like i said the other the other stuff so hope you guys enjoyed this video just want to show you guys some of the stuff that we go out and source and hopefully this is helpful if you guys have any comments or questions please link them down below um i'll leave some links in the description box down below for uh, some of the equipment that we use the printer the lights the bulbs the paper all that, the bags if you guys need any of that help please feel free to go down there. Just remember that we do get a small commission on anything that you do buy off of that. So with that, till next time, be safe, make that money, and enjoy thrifting when it returns. All right, guys, see ya.